What's going on everyone? Tyler Johnston here with another Grand Theft Auto 5 Story Mode Mission video. Well, as you guys can see, we are actually in this, what, what do you call this thing? The, um, uh, uh, um, Benefactor. I tried to remember the name of it. And I accidentally hit down on the beat, a uh, felon, which I uh, didn't mean, didn't think, uh, came up. But, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, I just want to say something really quick. The mission is just down the road, as you guys can see. We're going to Michael's. Um, first of all, the Bugatti usually spawns right over there. But uh, one thing I do want to say is, um, if you haven't already, go follow me on Twitter. Link to my Twitter is in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, go check out the previous video. We uh, took the janitor stuff and all that, and, yeah, you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about. Just go, ch just go watch it, you know. It's not too long of a video, it's like 20 minutes or something like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video before this person goes and they're on their cell phone. That's illegal! Come on, yeah. Get hosed down. You know one thing I don't understand? I cannot aim down at all. I can't. But if I get out of... Then I can aim all over. Can continue to shoot. I just drive on about our own business. We're just down the street from the police station, too. Just because I got cops on me, so I went in and got rid of them. Just so I wouldn't have to deal with them. Sorry if you guys heard that. It was just, uh, I, I had a little bit of Pepsi. I had a sip of Pepsi before I started recording. And, of course, I crash in and just destroy my car completely. Might as well destroy this one, too. This one's, I don't really like this car. The Audi. Run up into the thing. See what happens. We're gonna. What's happening? No family. Oh, got a dust out of glass. Okay, it was full a second ago. Damn, he's already had a, like four, three or four shots. I was just gonna have more. Oh, gee, he's tipping that thing back. A day later. Drunk. Oh, there's Jimmy. Hey. But. <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just. I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except. I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just... Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, <laughs> not in a, so will you buy me a car kind of way in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, hey. I will get Watch a job it. and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I well, come to Canada. It's illegal now. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better-built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the <laughs> fuck? Oh my god. I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. What? 
do you mean star, Jimmy? Well, I guess we're off to Bean Machine. It is. Damage is gone. So, Quick repair. What's been happening? Can you we know, take that other car, please? Get out. Okay, good, good. No, I don't know. Well, Second thought, it ain't repaired. Uh, it's getting the family it's, car. It's been, it's Can you get in? Can you get in. It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows? They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. Oh, okay. Here they are. Baby and two? Oh, what a treat. Guess we better walk up to him. Oh, Caffeine. Come on. Damn. The Berlin has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more... Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen... Shush, here. woman! Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is true. The picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit card on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. <laughs> I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? What? Are you <laughs> oh, shut up. Where that came from, Holmes? <laughs> Was he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda, I want to, I'm meaning to say, dude, look, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. <laughs> you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. I want to I guess we could try. Oh, I'm asking Shut up, shot. Victor. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. Perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. Oh. All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on. I want one too. Later. <laughs> I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. What the hell is she doing at the tattoo parlor? What? Like, uh, Tracy's getting another tattoo. Uh, no, another? No, God, no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, hey let me on? ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's first eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Here's the tattoo shot. Let's go. You're a dick without a dick. I'm looking for something hip that you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40 year old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa, whoa Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little <laughs> cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? <laughs> uh oh. Just not my junk, okay? I I'm already scarred down there. 
Gang symbol. I don't know what gang is going to represent Please it. Don't tattoo a cock. How about I throw all those three little pubic <laughs> hairs on you, too? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Oh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can... Oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. That's oh, oh, oh. Ah. Sniff, sniff. Oh, this is a real one stop shop. When I get nervous, <laughs> I evacuate my bowels. It's seeping out. <laughs> no, that's my, my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll like call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. There's never a family that needs therapy. <laughs> <laughs> How do I look? It's not good, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Tattoo gun. It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite? Huh. Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, Ooh. this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? No. Hey. Fuck? He beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with a laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bad him. To be honest, <laughs> I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate uh. that dude. Yeah, I know, right? Show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. <laughs> oh my a little God. ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. Ha. Do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough, okay? I love that Thought we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, Thought about like shooting that person. Liquor store that might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you? How about you just Shark let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. That was it, so we'll just back in real quick. Michael, kid, let's go inside. Okay. Here we go. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, being positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. 
No, normally there's a whore beneath you. You know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? <laughs> uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people, and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash. <laughs> we were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No, wait. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this before because I usually I skip the cutscenes. Years ago, this is funny. Shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. <laughs> I think we made some real progress there. <laughs> oh, uh, Michael. I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. Oh my but god. Oh my Wait. god. <laughs> of course. This is funny. I, I should put you in jail. Do it. So you gonna come I'll put you in the effing ground like the rest of them. <laughs> Guess we'll give it a try. All right. Kids. Are you gonna take us home? Four thousand dollars. Oh, that's a bit of a dent. It'll it'll, it'll buff out. Four thousand dollars, though. That's a nice and furnished back there. Still had a ways to go, you know. Like maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. I was looking down. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. Uh, uh, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog Jesus. walker. Oh, hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or Trash guy, or dad's proctologist, <laughs> or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach, or the oh my God. mom who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you Why would you turn? Death, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB, that monster Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No, no, jeez. Just one thing, Michael don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do. Uh -oh. Kids, rooms. If you find <laughs> dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. <laughs> okay then. Well, that was quick family therapy. 19 minutes that mission was. Well, 18 minutes or so. What? Trevor. Come with me! <laughs> oh. Oh, he's wasted. What happened to these people? Oh my god. Okay, you're not drunk anymore. Is there... 
Any missions? Well, let's just get back to shore really quick and see if a mission pops up. That's going to kind of be our... So we're in like the highway area. Ooh, let's jump. Franklin's flashing, so maybe he's got a mission. I think so. Oh, that's right, he's tailing the guy. Hey, Mike, it's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right, don't fuck it up. All right. <laughs> Don't see me hey, yet, stupid! Damn. You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site! Uh-oh! What's gonna happen? the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid to completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay, now I can buck it up there. I was just trying to make sure he didn't see me. So I was going to keep walking down that hill. And hope he didn't see. Oh, look. It's the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was going to wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Keep you quiet real quick. Now I'm the architect. Do I have a parachute? I can't even I can't even jump off at this level. It's all netted off. I can't even crouch. It's not working for me. I seriously cannot get by there. I have to seriously take his route. That sucks. Don't worry, I'm the new architect. Even though not, you just seen him. I'm the real one. It sucks I can't even jump because I don't know if I have a parachute. I don't think I do. I'm going to try it. No parachute. I'm dead. I thought I'd try it. I thought maybe a, 
I might have had a parachute, but I didn't. Oh, look. It's the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was going to wipe my ass off. Oh, no. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Well, I have an idea. This guy. Anyone know this guy? Hey, I don't know you, pal. Oh. Didn't work. Hey, stop. Man, running for me is a bad idea. Give me the things. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is very bad. It's time to go. Get me out of here quickly. Quickly! This is not gonna end well. Let's get down to the ground. No cops, no cops. Go, 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 go. Give me the gun, give me the gun, give me the gun, give me the gun. Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Where's my car? Where, where's my car? Where's my car? Where'd I park? Where'd I park? Oh, where'd I park? Take his damn car, fuck it. I'm not your guy, I'm just a person. Oh, I don't know if they're gonna work. They are gonna work, so let's use them to my advantage, because I don't want the cops, so I'm just gonna use the cheats to get rid of them, because why not? It would, it's three stars, it'd take me a little while to get, get going. I don't really like the cops in this game, because they're just overpowered in my opinion. They are relentless idiots. And there's no such thing as, hey, I'm going to arrest you. It's shoot on sight, no matter who you are. So this one here, I kind of just get rid of them a little quicker. By the cheat codes, but we got the thing, so let's go. Oh, I go to the left. Thought it would have brought me right into the cutscene, but it doesn't. Ah, Greg. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here, thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. Hey, right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here's what I think. What does that mean? We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So, we could plant some firebombs. They go bang! The emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or, we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by the vision of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless-ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Now your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access through the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? 
Oh, we have firefighting or roof. I'm gonna be a firefighter. So you do want a mop, okay? Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. Mm. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? Yep. And we have a winner. That's how I want to do it. Angels to call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Get down. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's funny. Man. Anyway, there, guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. As you guys can see, we're uh, gonna be doing what is it, Solomon? Yep. Ne the next mission we'll be doing, guys, is Solomon. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, what's Tracy want first? Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Hey, Selena. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Okay, well, I was going to end the video here, but I guess now we're going to go save some. Now we're going to go save Tracy. I got broke the window, so that's a good thing. It's just so that I don't have to do it at a later time if that's the route we choose to go. Oh, we're gonna just, you know, nice do a nice little slide drift. You would pull out of there. Oh, we're almost there. That's a good idea with the amount of heat that went down. What are you signing? Pot petition? No, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. I'm trying to, uh, drive normal. Want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? No way. We found this prick? Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crocahoo? Okay, then let's go to Crocahoo. Girls are celebrity with their very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? We're saving That's a celebrity. You turned out this good. Purple car, that's him! Fuck, he's on you! Let's go! Oh, hell no. What the F, Pop? Hey, stop, you idiot. Hey, what are you running for, pal? Oh my god, you killed him! You killed him! Stop next time, you idiot. Uh, 
this right here? I believe you did that. What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him. Oh, shit. This was we infinitely did. more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, we spoke to him. There's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Oh, Grow nice. up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess he really scared me, but I, I didn't want... Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Good. That's my girl. Now, please, try to make better choices. Thanks, Daddy. Bye. I'm Jesus. glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. Well, now that this car here was used in a, a hit and run, a crime, a big crime. We no longer can keep it, so I'm sorry, Tracy. Oh, man. Oh. I don't have any... Okay, well, we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Let's cook a grenade, and... Now it's time to throw it. She can get a new car. What's, uh... What did... Tr uh, just... Yeah, okay, that's too much reading. Let's just ditch these cops real quick. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you guys see, we had a very productive day with her car. <laughs> uh, yeah, just thanks for watching, and Lester is really going to town. Oh, well. Is that a fire truck coming? Is that actually a fire truck coming? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this. Um, have yourself a good day, and uh, yeah, that's all I got. Peace.